What's going on conquistadors? It is Scotty. How are you doing? Welcome back to Round Like Me. I am the Chunky Spaniard. Um, if this kind of setup starts looking familiar, this is going to be the setup most likely for most of the summer. I do not have a classroom to record in. Um, the classroom I'm doing summer school in is very bare and it's a different school and you don't decorate summer school classrooms. You might put up some educational posters, but you don't like full on go all out. So if you're missing the Golden State stuff behind me or you're glad the Golden State stuff isn't behind me or the pop figures or anything else, that'll be back in a couple months. But for now, we are in my home and um, with some lovely pictures of my children behind me the L for our last name, and then the amazing little love one another plaque that we have over there, which is awesome. And I love having that in the video because it's very important. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about when things were simple. Okay, it's a, it's a when things were simpler Wednesday. And I don't know if I've ironed out the name of that, but I think when things were simpler Wednesday is, is really good. Um, and I wanted to talk about today's cartoons when things were simpler. Back in my day, and <laughs> this is gonna be a common thing, you're like, oh my gosh, Scotty, so old, you're so old. But, but back in my day, when we had cartoons, you had good guys and bad guys. There are no more good versus evil, well, in smaller kids' cartoons, okay? There's probably still some good versus evil. You know, Gravity Falls had some of that, which is an amazing show. Um, and I'm sure there are a few other, I think there's even Star versus the Forces of Evil. So there are some people that will try and prove me wrong. There's always those people, right? But I'm talking about like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Dora the Explorer, Swiper's not a real villain. Come on, really? Not a villain, right? I mean, even Captain Hook on Jake and the Neverland Pirates isn't even a villain in this. He messes up, muddles things up, and really, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything right. And I miss the days of Popeye and Bluto. They did not like each other. And that was okay. I mean, even Pete on the, on the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Pete what, is, a, is, a, is an old school villain, but he always makes nice with these guys. That's not real life. Okay, G.I. Joe had Cobra. He-Man had Skeletor. The A-Team, okay? Mr. T, he was pitying fools all over the place, right? Greatest American Hero, I'm naming off all my shows from when I was a kid that I loved. You know, you had Autobots and Decepticons. But now it's, it's either everybody is great and someone learns their lesson at the very end. And, it, you know, lesson learned, life is great again. Or... You have some BS interactive show where the character on the show asks the kids on the screen, do you want to go do this? And a kid could say, no, I really don't. And <laughs> the cartoon character goes, great, let's go. I don't need when I'm watching cartoons to be talked to. I want to be entertained, even as an adult. Love the Loud House, love Gravity Falls, and right now, I think those might be the only two cartoons that I still enjoy, um, other than South Park, which is highly inappropriate. But I'm talking about kids' shows today, okay? So kids' shows. You know, I, I just don't get it. Where, where did we go wrong? All of a sudden, we're trying to sugarcoat everything and make sure, we're trying to make sure that everybody understands that there's another side to things. That's not the real world. There is good and there is evil. There's a lot of in between. And we can be, as humans, both. And people need to be able to see that. Now, obviously, you can't eat a can of spinach and then hit a guy over into, like, another city. Although I did think that as a kid. Not hit a guy, but I begged my mom after watching Popeye to buy spinach. And it was so gross. I remember she brought... You, do you know those frozen blocks of spinach in the frozen aisle? They're like those kind of rectangular prisms of frozen spinach. And you have to peel the paper off of it. Oh. My mom boiled it up and like I was like so excited because I'm going to get super strong. 
I mean, I used to think I was the Hulk when I was a kid and go out in the backyard because I didn't want to destroy the house and go out into the middle of the driveway and try and make myself so angry to turn to the Credible Hulk. And I'm talking Lou Ferrigno, Incredible Hulk. But kids need that understanding of good and evil. And maybe cartoons, I mean, that's why they have parents, but you kind of need that balance. And, and it's so disappointing to watch a show where just everything is great and everything is wonderful and we're all going to get along and it's all going to go right. I mean, growing up you had, and, and the battle continued, it raged on. I mean, looking back now, it's almost like that internal battle that we have all the time of making the good choice or the bad choice. And I don't know if we're learning it from Sophia the First and all these other shows and these kids are, are getting that exposure to that. Not that, car again, not that cartoons are going to solve and remedy everything else that's wrong with this world because there's way too much. But man, things were so much simpler. You had a good guy, you had a bad guy, they fought, you chose the side. I always chose the good side. Butters loves to choose the dark side. I mean, right after he saw Star Wars, his favorite character is Darth Vader. I'm like, how could it not be Luke or Han? Like, how could you not? He's like, those are cool guys. But Darth Vader, man. Oh, Darth Vader. Every, it was Darth Vader everything. And I'm trying to bring him back. Like, come back to the light, please. But then that open dialogue and conversation about good versus evil. Oh my gosh, imagine that. A parent having a conversation with their child about what they watched and why they chose what they chose and the ramifications of that. I mean, that's what these things should become, you know? I don't know. I mean, but cartoons, when things were simpler Wednesday, cartoons back in the day used to be so much better because you had a push and a pull and it wasn't always resolved with some you know tea party or something else and everybody was getting along or it was just a, here's a simple mistake you know <laughs> sorry guys I shouldn't have done that that's not how real life works and you learned how to resolve conflict and deal with that or how to you know the battle might keep going and you're gonna have to endure and prepare and plan and you know, it, it was just so much more fun. Yeah. I feel like it almost has sucked out the imagination of things too because everybody gets along. And you got your figures and you got your characters and they're just like, hey, this is great. Oh my goodness. I don't know. My kids love older cartoons. They really do. Um, the old Looney Tunes. Yeah, even had good versus evil in those, you know? My kids love DuckTales, the old DuckTales. Um, we have Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. And, and that was kind of like almost that start of where things were starting to morph into, you know, the interactive, everybody's really good on the inside kind of thing. Um, so when things were simpler, cartoons, cartoons were much better back in my day, in my opinion. So thanks for watching Keys to Doors. Thanks for watching Keys to Doors. So, thanks for watching Keys. I can't get it right. Keys to Doors. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to be a better person tomorrow than you were today. Learning from the mistakes or the evil that you may have done, like a cartoon character would have to learn, and the repercussions of those actions. And I'll see you later. Bye.